Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? Today, we're back on our resort tour series here at Bahia Principe Riviera Maya. And we're here out front of Bahia Principe Luxury Shan Khan. And uh, this is an adults only resort. And we're gonna take a trip inside, show you what this resort is all about. Just off the top, I wanna let you know that this resort is a little bit further away from the beach. So it takes about 15 minutes or so to get to the beach. So there are little trolleys that will come down the driveway right here, pick you up and take you to the beach. And I come every about 20 or 25 minutes and uh, to take you all the way to the beach. So just keep that in mind if the beach is a priority for you on vacations. Otherwise, if you're in for a relaxing resort and uh, kind of immersed in the jungle here with lots of nature, uh, this is, might be the place for you. So without further ado, let's head inside. And we just want to also thank Bahia Principe for hosting us on this trip. So thank you Bahia Principe. Before we actually go into the main lobby here, we're gonna turn over to the right and walk down this little path because down this path here is our first a la carte restaurant and it's called Meiko. And Meiko is a Japanese restaurant. So you can see the sign right here. So we didn't visit Meiko, we did visit Mikado, which is its sister resort or sister restaurant, and that's over in the Koba. But um, if you got a chance to visit Meiko during your stay, maybe you can write in the comments how the experience was. So this is the Japanese a la carte restaurant. All right, so carrying, a, carrying on along the path here, we're gonna enter the main lobby here. I'll show you guys. The lobby here is not as big as some of the other lobbies at the other Bahia Principe hotels, because it is a bit more of a smaller hotel. But as we come in, the bellman here will be happy to help you with your luggage and uh, make sure you get to your room. So here's the main lobby here. So you got a beautiful statue right here and just a little wayfinding. If we look over this way, this is going to be the front desk. And just kind of on either side of the front desk, we've got two shops and then a jewelry store. And if we pan over this way, this is going to be where the bar is, the lobby bar, and then the washroom is just in the back corner. And I'll show you this little T wall here along the back in just a second too. If we look further on past the statue, we'll look at this a bit closer, but this is the terrace and the walkway to the rooms. And then just over to the right is where the main buffet is located for breakfast, lunch, and dinner time. So here's a closer look at the front desk. I like this big, walk, big rock structure or stone structure on the back behind the front desk showing the hotel's logo. I will also um, just give you this QR code because we didn't see one in front of the Japanese a la carte, but there's a menu that you, or a barcode you can scan to see all the different menus of the a la carte restaurants and the in-room dining as well. Over here, I'll let you take a look at the uh, Bahia Principe app. There's some good information that can help you on your stay here. And take a look for these TVs as well, scattered throughout the hotel. Um, they always provide some good information if you're uh, looking for extra activities and different things to do. Another spot you can look is these uh, small little iPads here for these touchscreen TVs. And you can uh, take a look at different a la carte dinners, spot treatments, golf, which we'll actually look at in just a few minutes here, and um, the different shows offered. So if we come over this way, this is going to be the Bahia Tours desk. So if you're looking for an excursion or um, tickets for Coco Bongo, you can look that here. And I'll just give you a sneak peek at some of these excursions that are offered. There's tours to different uh, archeological sites. There's uh, snorkeling and swimming in cenotes, sea turtles, all kinds of really cool stuff. So the lobby is a little bit busy right now. So I'm gonna just hop over here so I'm not filming people um, straight in their faces to show you the tea counter in the bar. So from the bar area here, if we actually just walk around the corner here, this is where the tour operators will be located. So if you came on, a, uh, on your vacation with a tour package, you can uh, meet your rep here in this office, book any excursions, or uh, find out any uh, flight information for your departure flight home. And then just to the left of that, we've got a, a little tea counter. This is kind of neat. I haven't seen this at any other of the hotels. We've got cinnamon, anise, dried pineapple, dehydrated lemon, and dehydrated orange. We've got a couple of snacks here. Cinnamon bun or chocolate uh, pastry. And then there's some coffee service here too in this little coffee maker. There's an ATM just beside that in case you need to uh, take out any cash during your stay and then washrooms just to the left of that. So just to the left of the um, lobby area here, this is the main buffet here, the main restaurant buffet called Yalku. 
and Yalku serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Currently, it's closed at the moment because they are setting up in between meals here right now. And um, we did a breakfast and dinner buffet tours here at Yalku, so if you wanted to see those, they'll be up on our channel as well. And if you have any questions about some of the food offerings, you can uh, also write comments in this video too. Okay, so we're back in the main area of the lobby. This is the front desk here. And if we turn around this way, we're gonna head out into the terrace area. So there's lots of tables set up here. There's not too many people hanging out in the terrace right now because it is pretty much in the sun at the moment. Um, and it is very, very hot today. So, but this does open up in the evening time. More people kind of hang out at these tables because this is where the main entertainment is for the resort. And uh, the theater is a little bit smaller than some of the other theaters at the other resorts, but just keep in mind that this is more of a relaxing atmosphere and not so much like a party entertainment uh, resort. But if you do want to catch one of the other shows, you could take one of the shuttles, the trolley shuttles over to uh, one of the other hotels, Tulum, Akumal or Koba, and catch any shows there. So there's two ways to get back into the guest room area. There's this walkway right here, and there's another walkway just over here, so depending where your room is located. And I'll also point out the beautiful gardens here and Uxmal, which is the terraza bar, which opens up in the evening time for drink service. So before we head down into the room areas here, we're gonna head back to the front of the resort because I do wanna show you another room block that's a little bit separated off from the main room areas and the main hotel. And then we're also gonna check out the uh, golf driving area or the golf um, practice range area to show you some of the other offerings here at the hotel. All right, so we just came from down this pathway here from the main lobby. So it was only like a two minute walk to get to this pool area here. So if you are staying in this, um, this block of villas over here, about a two minute walk to the buffets and to the main plaza area. So we'll just turn around this way and you get a good view of some of the villas here and the uh, different like vegetation and nice like flowers and stuff here. But yeah, this is definitely immersed in the jungle and you definitely get a bit of a nature vibe from the hotel here. So if we come down here, this is going to be where our small quiet pool is in this uh, villa block. So if we come over here, I don't wanna film people just like relaxing and such, but I'll see if I can get some shots here from the outside. But as you can see, there is this little pool here. And it is very shallow, obviously just over here, but there is like a spot to kind of sit down in the jacuzzis just here. And there's lots of um, loungers around this little pool. And uh, no umbrellas though, but you do get quite a bit of shade from the tree canopy just above here. So here's a bit of a better shot of the pool area here. And then the uh, guest villas, just kind of bordering this area. And then just here, we've got a small little bar area and uh, there's some servers here to help you uh, get a drink while you're hanging by the pool. So they'll come around and uh, give you drink service. And there's also, I can see some uh, cappuccinos and coffees and things. So here's a closer look at the, uh, the drink area here. I just asked a gentleman here. He said there's only drinks offered at this little bar here, um, not any food. So you'd have to go to the uh, buffet area for food. And again, just from this little terrace here, here's another shot of the little pool here in this villa block. And then there's some, uh, a small little terrace here with some chairs and a table to relax. If you want a little bit more shade, there's definitely some more shade over on this little terrace here. So now we're gonna head back to the main lobby and check out things over in the main lobby. One other thing to note just before we head to the lobby is there is a, a pool towels here. You can drop your dirty towel and pick up a clean one just here. All right, so on our way back down the pathway here towards the road, uh, we just noticed here that there's a natural cenote. So there's a fence here so you don't go down there, but you can see just down here, there's like a natural cenote there. So that's kind of a cool little thing here in the uh, Bahir Principe Luxury Shan Khan. They have some natural cenotes. So this is where we just have been so far. So we just started the tour right out front of the hotel here. But we did walk down the pathway to see this hotel block. The cenote was right here. We're gonna head down this way just to show you where the golf practice is. So we'll put in a couple clips of the golf practice there. And the golf practice and golf course, which is pretty popular here at Shan Khan, is um, an extra charge, just to let you know that. Once we're done at the golf course, we'll come back to the lobby and then uh, look at the different pools and the different restaurants offered here at the hotel. All right, so we've made it to the PGA Riviera Maya by Bahia Principe Golf. So we're gonna take a look at the uh, practice range here real quick. So this is it here. 
looks really nice. There's some little pins out there too you can aim at. Practice your swing here. All right, so now that we're back from our trip uh, just outside the lobby to see the golf area and the other uh, pool area, we're gonna take a walk through the terrace here and down through the pathways to see the guest room villas and the different pools and restaurants offered here at Xi'an Khan. So there's a couple um, plastic cups here because if you have like a glass cup they ask you to kind of empty it into one of these plastic cups so you're not taking the glass cups beyond the uh, terrassa area. So there's a beautiful walkway through the jungle here and even though it's a hot day today I can feel it's nice and cool in here. The tree canopy provides a lot of shade from the sun up there so that's a really nice feature of this resort. And uh, in the morning time, we were here a little bit earlier, uh, we did some yoga, which I'll show you a little bit later. Um, it was quite nice, the birds were chirping, it was really nice and kind of cool. It is getting a bit warmer now. But before we uh, head down this way to the main pools area, I'm going to turn to the left here and point out that down this walkway is going to be the spa. So let me show you on the map here kind of where we are and where we've gone so far. So we've just toured the lobby and then we went out to tour, well we did see Mako. We saw the uh, other pool area here and we saw the golf practice range. So now what we're gonna do, as I said before on the map, is just check out the spa area, which is down here, and then head in to see the main pools and guest villas just through here. So we just came down the walkway and we're here at Bahia Spa now. So there is another walkway to get to it from the uh, room area, but I found the easiest way was from the lobby there. So this is Bahia Spa here, so you can check in at the spa and book any treatments you'd like to get even more relaxed than the relaxing atmosphere here at Sian Khan. All right, so we're back at the map that we just pointed at. So now we're going to go down the main walkway, check out the pools down this main walkway and loop back and around to the main lobby area. All right, so one thing I want to mention, as you can see, there's quite a bit of jungle and with jungle comes little uh, critters and insects and stuff. So. Yes, yeah, so you should be a bit tolerant to little insects and creepy crawlies like spiders and we saw some pretty decent sized grasshoppers and stuff as well. So if that's something that kind of bothers you uh, on your stay or being outdoors, then just be mindful of that if you're uh, looking at this resort. Coming to the uh, path here, there's a, a little fork in the road. This is our first pool area here and as you can tell it's pretty quiet, which is awesome for relaxing. There's some loungers around the pool, a few umbrellas, but there is some like tree canopy shade. And uh, also, just going down this pathway right here, which we're going to go in just a minute, that'll lead us to our second a la carte restaurant called Axul. And Axul is the gourmet restaurant here. But yeah, as you can see, it's very relaxing. Um, there's a shallow area in the pool and a bit of a deeper end too. So as we come down the little walkway, turn right here. This is Alux. And Alux is the uh, gourmet restaurant. I think we called it Axul. So again, we didn't have a chance to visit this restaurant during our stay, but it looks very fancy inside here. But we did visit the gourmet restaurant over in Tulum, so I'm assuming some of the menu items are very similar, so I'm just trying to get a good shot in here. And you can find our uh, little mini review of the gourmet restaurant Don Pablo in our Tulum video. So now we're back at the uh, fork in the road here where we checked out um, Alux. I think I called it Axul before, but um, it is Alux, the gourmet. So yeah, here's the first, or this would be the second pool that we've now seen on the uh, resort tour. All right, so carrying down the pathway here, we come to our next uh, item here, Cenote, the uh, snack restaurant or the poolside snack restaurant here. I just also want to point out there's all these villas scattered throughout. I haven't been mentioning those, but we did a full room tour as well uh, to check out one of the rooms here. And uh, that video will be up on our channel just shortly, or it might already be up depending on when you're watching this. <clears throat> so I'll give you a little mini buffet tour of the food offered here. Got some breads, some stuff to make some cold salads. We got some fresh fruit and some uh, little uh, meringue tarts. Some strawberry cupcakes, or strawberry cakes it looks like, like a cheesecake. We got some ice cream, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, and coconut. They're just down in there. Some cookies and then ice cream cones. There's full service coffee and tea, some restrooms here. And then we've got some lentil soup in the cooking pot today. And then around here we've got some smoked or uh, carpaccio fish. We've got some pre-made salads right here. And then they do have uh, some other hot items here too. Some chips with salsa and different Mexican sauce, green and red. And then some pizza on the other side, which I'll show you in just a sec. 
And then there's the uh, pizza, some ham pizza, vegetarian or uh, pepperoni in the back, and then some cheese pizza. All right, so that was just a little sample of the uh, Cenote snack bar restaurant here. And um, they do have full drink service as well. So you can take a seat here and they'll have uh, some servers coming around to take your drink orders. So just beside Cenote, I'll give you a sneak peek just from the path here. There is the third pool area here. As you can see, there's a lot of shade offered around this left side of the pool at this time of day. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon. And then over here is a little bit more sun offered just on this part. But yeah, there's a nice pool. Um, it's very quiet here, so another quiet pool. Great place to relax. And then um, I'll try to get a closer look, but there are some hammocks in the trees here too. So from the pool area, we were just touring just over here where Cenote is. There's a uh, really cool little like exercise area set up because they don't have a dedicated gym here. So they have this little outdoor. There's like some boxes here. There's some uh, kettlebells and medicine balls. There's even a TRX here roped up in the tree. And then some uh, like a little boot camp class set up right there. So this is called Sian Khan Jungle Gym, <laughs> which is cool. Oh, they even got some like battle ropes set up with this tree here. So this is a nice little, uh, well, it would be nice to have a full gym obviously, but since they don't, they do have some stuff set up. So just inside the, uh, the jungle gym area, give you a better shot of the pool here and you can see the uh, hammocks just over here all kind of like uh, attached to the trees along the back wall there or the uh, back garden and then over here this is a shallower pool right here but over here in the morning we actually did some yoga with the uh, instructor Victor and Victor was an excellent uh, yoga guide to help us along the class so it's a one-hour class they do it at nine o'clock in the morning every day and they do it along the pool here. So I'll put a couple clips in to show you guys our yoga experience here. All right, so this is a better shot of that pool area where we did the yoga just there. And as we turn over this way, this is going to be where the more activity pool is though. So if there's, if there's a spot to get some music and action, this is where it's gonna be over here. There's a pool bar as well, just here set up. Hey, how are you? <laughs> that was Victor, the yoga instructor. So there's the activity center, the music, and this pool is going to be where more of the action is if you still crave a little action here at Sian Khan. Also, just wanted to note out too, they have a little library. You can borrow a book during your stay and return it when you're done reading it or when you leave. So just down from the uh, little uh, uh, bar right here, you can hear the music is quite loud now. Um, but yeah, I'll give you a little shot of the pool here. This is the last pool and as you can see, much more energy. There's some darts games being played over here and uh, some more relaxing. And uh, this is actually the back of the resort here. So this, this is some guest villas, but then there's no more rooms beyond here. The pathway does loop around here and then returns back to the lobby there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head back to the lobby area and then catch one of the shuttles and head all the way down to the beach to wrap up the video on the beach. All right, so we made it all the way down to the beach here. Uh, this is gonna be our last stop on our tour here at Bahia Principe Luxury Shan Khan. As you can see, there's the uh, snack bar and the b bar here offered at Shan Khan. So everyone here will be happy, to, be happy to serve you any drinks you may want while you're staying at the beach. And just wanna kind of highlight over here, you can see the uh, beach area here, it kind of goes all the way over here. Lots of umbrellas and shade here. The beach is a little bit rocky right in front of me, but if you walk over here, there's some more sandy areas, but water shoes will definitely be very helpful. And as you can see, there's lots of wave breakers around here to kind of break the waves to give you a nice little swimming lagoon in here. But yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful in seeing what Shan Khan has to offer. Definitely a bit of a different experience being in the jungle like it is, but very relaxing if you're looking for that kind of peaceful, you know, nature, scenery kind of vacation. But there is the option to come to the beach as well, just here. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where we're we going next.